So yesterday I was trying to do a color change on the AMS system on the X1 carbon here and uh, and it had some filament stuck somewhere in in the the feeding system because it told me that there was filament stuck at the nozzle and that it couldn't pull the filament back. Uh, so I started here and checked to see if there's any filament in the feeding tube all the way through here. Still nothing. All the way back to the back end. Still no filament in here. Uh, you can shine a light through it to see if you got filament. Um, but still nothing here. Nothing all the way up to the AMS and nothing through the AMS either. So uh, I had to take the AMS apart and I'll, uh, I'll show you what that looked like. Here we are with the AMS off the printer. Um, basically what it was doing is it was spinning the feed wheels for the spool where it was the slot where I said it had stuck filament. It just kept spinning and spinning and spinning. Nothing was coming out. Um, also could not put any additional filament in so I had this little test piece and it basically gets stuck right there like that's as far as I can push it in and won't go any further look at that it's about that far in if you look at this other position where it wasn't having any issues I can actually lose that in there I could push it all the way in if I wanted to same thing with all these other positions so basically led me to believe that there's some filament stuck between the infeed here and the exit position of the AMS. And in order to pull this apart, use a two millimeter Allen wrench or Allen key. Um, so I've already loosened these two bolts. So you loosen them all the way off. And then one last thing you have to do is pop out that feed tube at the back. So if you push down with your two fingers and you pull the other side, push down, Pull that out, she's out there. That allows you to pull this whole thing forward. Just clear that back bit. So now we're free of the case. We can set that aside if we want to. Now we've just got the AMS system. So with the AMS, we know this is the slot that was having issues. We can turn that around without losing our screws here. We'll set those aside. And we can pull, we can actually see that there's filament, the white filament that I was using stuck in this tube. So you can just do a quick pop off there. We can pull that out and there you go. Just a piece stuck in there. You could do this whole process with the AMS on the printer. I just find it easier to pull it off and do it separately. But now that we have that out, we just do the reverse. I forgot to also mention there's these two connectors at the back. That you got to make sure you unplug before you pull this whole piece out. So let's show you what that looks like in reverse. So we're back to the enclosure. And then we want to plug these guys in. So I need to look at this close enough to plug it in. But not so close that it falls over. So that's number one in. That was super funky. <laughs> Someone has a better way of doing that, let me know in the comments. But I think we're connected and uh, we can verify when I get that connected back to the printer. And we got those in securely. And last thing to do here is to put our two screws back into these holes here. So again, two millimeter Allen key. And just tighten that down.
It'd be nice if that was a little bit easier to do. Uh, I could imagine filament breaking off in that pathway semi-regularly. That feels like those are secure. You can also put this tube back in the back here. This goes into this little, little grommet here and into that quick connector over there. Just give it a little tug. And that's pretty secure. So I'll throw it back on the printer, uh, connect it back up with the back ports and we'll see how she's going. All right, we're plugged back in. You can see those lights flashing, indicating that they're waiting for a spool. And come over to the AMS controls. They're all empty at the moment, which is a good sign. And it's not seeing that same filament in there anymore. Push that forward and feed some in. Again, a bit tricky with one hand here. There you go. Now it looks like it's feeding all the way through, which is great. There we can see, it now thinks it has white because that's the color I used before, but put some red in there just to see. And let's, uh, let's try loading it all the way. Let's select that slot. So hopefully that helps someone out there and uh, if you liked the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.